the one and one quarter goblet squat. All right, now that was segmented a little bit, paused. You can do it that way. If I were to pause in each position to break it down, I'd have my goblet position. I prefer to go hand through the handle and then grab on that opposite side of the bell, palms bearing the weight super close to my chest. I drop down into that really good squat position, fully hit the bottom, hip crease below my knee, chest nice and tall, come up to parallel, drop back down, and then stand fully back through the movement. That would be one rep. If I was doing these without a pause, it would look like this. That would be one rep. So I'm showing control throughout the movement. I'm not just bouncing out of the bottom, up towards my toes and driving up. I'm trying to sit back, use my glutes, really gonna feel it in my quads as I switch directions to drive up, back down under tension, and then drive back out of that hole again. Underutilized movement as far as squats go. Really great at developing strength in that bottom position. As you can see, if I rewind to that movement, I'm in that bottom position, come out of it barely, back into that bottom position, and then drive back out of it. So you almost get this two for one in the bottom where a lot of people lack strength because we don't spend that much time down there. Now, you should be performing these safely, shouldn't be up on your toes, should ask the coach to watch you, maybe even get a PT to go over or look at your spine to make sure you're not rounding as you hit these. These can be a potent movement, especially if you're going with a back squat or a front squat. But I would intro these in the goblet squat form because it's a lot easier to maintain that upright position at the chest and then really feel that full range of motion of the squat as you come down, back up a touch, and then drive fully back out of that squat. One and a quarter goblet squats. Spice them up, spice those squats up. Consider subscribing, drop a comment below.